Greetings, traders out there in Traderland. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, May 3rd, 2011, and the markets are down today. Selling may go away? Maybe. Let's take a look here. We have the Dow at break even, the SP down 0.34%. Now, we tend to give more credence here to the S&P 500 because they have 500 blue chip companies. To be quite frank, it's 500 of the largest companies out there. Dow has 30. However, they are the bluest of blue chip companies out there. Very liquid. But because there's 500 versus the 30, we tend to gravitate towards the S&P because it acts as a better barometer as a whole. The NASDAQ, down 0.78%. Big drop in techs. Russell's took the big hit. Small caps are getting hammered right now, down 1.3%. Banks, by day's end, led the markets. We did see a rally right at the end of the day. VIX was up um, quite a bit more than this, but it had simmered back down, but still up 4.6%. Gold and crude dropping. Silver dropping. You have the... Crude down 1.89%. Last I looked, crude was at um, $111 per barrel. U.S. dollar was up and then has dropped back by day's end in the negative territory. Transportation is finally pulling back a little bit. And you'll see right down here, ZSL, which is an inverse leveraged ETF. You can get that at ProShares.com. And this here is if if silver drops, this goes up by two times. So it's an inverse or a short or a bear fund, if you will. So that was up 10%. I'm in this one right now. A huge volume flowing into that, by the way. We could have capitulation taking place in silver. So be watching that. There's some analysts saying this is a time to buy silver. I would be very careful buying silver right now anyway we have the s p 500 daily let's pull in some data a big fat rising wedge these are bearish by any stretch of the imagination and if i were to bring in the monthly here we are very very extended on the monthly now we're starting to drop doesn't surprise us, does it? Because we saw the reversal pattern yesterday, which is a bearish thrusting pattern, not a shooting star. Why? Because the upper shadow is not two times that or more of the real body. So we do have a thrusting, bearish thrusting pattern. If you want to learn about all these reversal patterns, which is crucial, you need to know those. Go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com, click on chart school. We have, in my humble opinion, one of the best, if not the best, chart school out there. And if you think that there's a better chart school that is better organized with the most, with with the more, with more correct data, let me know about it because I'm telling you, we poured our heart and soul into this. Um, Dr. Jonathan Klein and myself have put a lot of work into that chart school, and it's free. You need to take advantage of that and go through it. But anyway, we have a lower high, lower low. We did drop today. We had a negative tick. We have continue with a negative tick. And it's a sizable negative tick here on the histogram. And we are looking at the MACD centered oscillator. And we are dropping. So right now the bears are in control. We did see some bullish activity. And we did rally back by day's end however gang we are in a down leg so that's that's something we cannot ignore i did pick up some longs today as we were bouncing and just because of this hammer it's almost acting like we're wanting to head out but if we don't get over 1360 you know you know i have my vix calls too <laughs> um that's going to hedge me on those longs that i entered but still holding a lot of cash do not want to subject my dollars to the markets on this downdraft that we're experiencing at this moment so there you have it. You get the very best of technical analysis. Where? Here with the Grok Trade Mentors. And we'll keep you abreast to the very latest. So make sure you watch the pre-market video and also the after-market video. Signing off, Des Woodruff here. Pass this on to a friend and be sure to check back. Take care and very safe trading to you.